Hello and welcome to another podcast of Basic Income News. My name is Olga Babkova. For those who have never heard about basic income, a basic income is an income unconditionally granted to all on an individual basis without means test or work requirement. Basic Income News reports on this idea. It is provided by the Basic Income Earth Network and its affiliates. Here are the main news of last week we reported about. You find the respective links to the articles below. Canada. You can read Megan McArdle's article Canadian Test Shows Income Guarantees Don't Work, published in Bloomberg on the 16th of November 2013. Canada. Bruce Stewart's article published in Beacon News on the 7th of October 2013 discusses conservative Canadian senator Hugh Segal, who continues to advocate for a basic income guarantee. According to Senator Segal, an income floor would encourage more entrepreneurship, enhance consumer spending and provide a top-up for low-paying service jobs that are increasingly barrier preventing many Canadians from joining the middle class. Africa, India. You can read Shanta Devaryan's article, Let Them Eat Cash, published in World Bank, Future Development, on the 29th of October, 2013. Switzerland. You can read Gillian Steinhauer's article, An Artist's Plan to Get Everyone in Switzerland Paid, in Hyperallergic, published on November 13, 2013. United States. In his article, Tim Crider connects the way out of the busy trap to big writing. My old colleague Ted Rowe recently wrote a column proposing that we divorce income from work and give each citizen a guaranteed paycheck, which sounds like the kind of lunatic notion that will be considered a basic human right in about a century, like abolition, universal suffrage and eight-hour work days. Africa. According to Manisa Nekwi, senior social protection specialist working on safety nets in Malawi and Ethiopia, Alaska and Iran have something important in common. They both use revenues generated from their mineral resources to provide direct payments to their citizens. World Bank economist Marcello Guigel also supports directly transferring money generated from oil, gas and mineral development into the pockets of people. He argues this both strengthens the economy and reduces corruption. African nations in particular currently stand to see the greatest income gains by sharing the wealth generated from their rich mineral deposits with their citizens. Blog post. You can read an article, A Big Justification Under Capitalism, posted on the 27th of October 2013 on the website heteconomist.com. Thoughts from the Economic Heterodoxy Review You can read Malcolm's story article about a book, Poverty and Security, Life in No-Pay, Low-Pay Britain, which examines the relationship between social exclusion, poverty and the labor market. If you have any comments or questions on basic income, feel free to leave a message below or contact us via Twitter. Our address is at BI News. If you have news related to basic income, please let us know and we will see if we can use it. There is a link on our website to suggest items. Thanks for listening and hope to see you next time again.